Hi everyone and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I have another Halloween themed page and I will be working on my 6x6 disc bound journal. This journal is custom made and I created this by using um, Distress mixed media paper which takes uh, Distress Oxide ink beautifully. I will use my blending tool and apply Distress Oxide ink all over my page. I'm starting with carved pumpkin. I will move on to Dusty Concord. Now you will see that it's really easy to blend Distress Oxide ink on top of this paper and this is exactly the reason why I chose to use this for my art journal. Now I will move on to my darker uh, color which is the chipped sapphire and you will see that I just apply color in the beginning and then I switch to the previous color to blend that uh, line in between the colors. Finally, I used black suit on the outside edges to darken them up a little bit. And now, just like always, when I use Distress Oxide inks, I'm going to add some water. So I'm adding splashes here, which I'm going to dab with a cloth. Now I have some techniques for my backgrounds that I go back to again and again. I absolutely love them. And one of them is to stamp some text at the background, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm using black archival link here. And notice that I don't try to get a perfect impression, this is just the background, so I'm happy with how it looks now. Another favorite technique that I like to do lately is to use a stamp and go all around the edges with black to darken them up even more and to create a black frame. So I'm using one of the stamps from the Etc. stamp set. This is from the same stamp set as well. I keep using this stamp set again and again and I find that it is really versatile. Probably one of my most used in terms of art journaling. So I keep on stamping all around the frame. And at this stage I'm pretty happy with how my background is looking. So I will move on and create a moon for my page. I used a circle die to cut out my moon out of uh, mixed media paper. And I splattered on top of it a little bit of fossilized amber distress oxide ink. So you can see I do have some variation of color on top of my moon, making sure that I didn't completely cover it up. I used my glue to stick it down and I'm just chopping off the excess. Now I will work on my focal point. For that I decided to go with the boys that hold the pumpkins. This is a photograph which uh, comes in the packaging, the Ancestors packaging by Tim Holtz. And this is the Halloween themed one. This is the exact same that I used yesterday for my witches project. I'm using my scissors to separate them from the background since I created my own. Now I'm going to play around a little bit with the placement on my page and this is where I decided that I wanted to use this branch. This can be a branch or a tree depending on where you place it and um, I decided to uh, color it black. Now you will see that later on I will change the place where this is going to go but it can work either way. Now to color the branch you can go with black gesso, black uh, acrylic paint. I went the, the easy way and just used my black alcohol marker. This chipboard is by uh, Joggles and you will find the link down below. I like it because it's quite big, it's about 6 inches, so it really makes a great focal point. Now I will go all around the edges of my cutout just to make sure that I get rid of that uh, white edge. I'm using a black permanent marker here. And as I'm gathering all my elements for the page, I also use this Sizzix tie. This cuts out a house, which I'm not going to use, but it would be great for this background as well. Here's another idea for another page. I just cut out the buds from this. I'm also going to use the scrap that I have from cutting out the buds, and I will just use it as a ground for the bottom of my page. I also use the punch on the side just to make sure that I don't lose that uh, hole there. And I will stick this piece at the bottom of my page by using white glue at the back. You can see that I don't even care if there is uh, uh, some, there are some imperfections on my uh, ground. This is going to mostly be covered by the elements that I will stick on top. I just want to have a black layer at the bottom. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe at the back of my tree and uh, this is where I decided that I don't want to use it as a tree, like uh, here. 
So when I tried this position, I thought, okay, this looks better. So I went with the branch. And now it's time to play with my design tape. I'm using the Halloween set by Tim Holtz. It's the one that I used for yesterday's project. There are six different designs in the package, but I will go only with two of them. The one with the skulls and this one with the stripes. Again, for my quote today, I will be using uh, cheap quotes by Tim Holtz and this is the Halloween package. There are so many different ones to choose from. And I'm going to stick one of them at the bottom. And now it's time to stick the boys down. I'm using, uh, at the bottom of this cutout, I'm using white glue since I want it to lay flat on my page. But for the heads, I'm going to use some foam squares at the back. This way I will have some dimension only where the heads are. And I love how my little scene is coming together here. Now it's time to add some finishing touches to make it, uh, to take it a step further. So I will stick down the butts and I have cut out three of them. Again, I'm just using my white Nouveau glue for the whole project today. I had it on my table and I thought, uh, why not? Uh, of course, you can use your gel medium or any other type of glue that you like. And since I have introduced design tape at the bottom of my page, I want to have touches of this uh, design tape in different areas of my project. I feel like it is uh, balancing it out somehow, so I'm going to use a couple of strips on this side. And on top I'm going to stick one of the chip quotes that says BOO. And I'm also going to add a few of those strips at the corner. And I'm working only with the two design tapes that I worked for the rest of the page. So the skulls and the stripes. Now again I'm going to repeat the same process of stamping all around the edges. So I'm stamping on top of the design tape, on top of the moon. This way I'm kind of bringing everything together so they blend nicely with the background. And the last finishing touch is going to color the pumpkins. Now to color them, I'm not going to use any acrylic paint or anything else. I want to have just a tint of color on this uh, black and white uh, photo. So I'm using my distress marker. This is spiced marmalade. I'm going over them with my finger to fade them out a little bit. And you will find that when this ink dries, it's going to fade out even more, which is perfect for my project. And finally, I'm going to tint the stems using forest moss. Again, the same technique, adding some of uh, the color and then uh, blending it out with my finger to make sure that it is fade out and not so vibrant. And my project is ready. All I have to do is to put it back on my disc bound journal. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. I absolutely adore these pumpkin boys. Just like always, you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. I hope you had fun and you got inspired to create a Halloween themed project. And here is the other art journal, the Halloween themed one that I shared yesterday. Check it out if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.